Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, I am up on a beach in Northumberland called, or known around here as Blockhouse Beach at Hudson. There's quite a few fish caught last night in various competitions and whatnot. So I've come up tonight, I'm not in a competition, I'm just here for pleasure. And uh, we're going to see if we can get a few caught on the beach. I've just changed my reel, I've put a 50 pound braid on, shock, 100 pound shock leader. I'm going to use, I'm just going to start the same rigs that I use when I go on the rock marks. Um, this isn't a big chuck here either. Literally, what, 60, 70 yard chuck here will get your fish. So, <laughs> all I've done, this is the same rig off the other week actually. However, I've just changed the hooks before I come out tonight. So, just a pattern of that game with a breakaway crimps. Panel and baits today are freshly dug lugworm and I have a load of razor clamps to use. I didn't, uh, oh, I brought some cart wings as well, but I'm hopefully, I'm only going to use them if, I, if I'm struggling because I want to try and keep for the open on Sunday. So I'm going to get set up, get one bait up. I'm not going to take the camera down for the first cast until I get some idea of what the water conditions is like down there with the waves and whatnot. So I'll get back to you when I've got a bait in the water. So guys, thanks for joining. I've just had a right rigmarole because I dropped me microphone straight down my waders. Luckily it didn't go in the water and I just dropped it at the bottom of my boot. I've got my first cast in. There's a bit of pull from left to right. So it's, it looks like it's settled there now in the tide. See, it doesn't look that big, but as a reef here offshore, it tends to knock it off. And it looks, it's always bigger than it looks normally. Had many a fish from this mark, although the best fish from here is 512. I'm three hours before low water, roughly, probably just after that now. And I think I've got a bite straight away. I think we might have our first customer. Well, this doesn't feel very big, like, but... There's something on. I'm a long way from the water's edge here, Lee. Yes, oh, yep, I feel it. I see it doesn't feel very big, but considering that's been in four to five minutes. Not a bad start. Just take your time. Somewhere in that surf there now. Yeah, I see it. Whoop, yeah, bugger tripped on my tripod. I think it's a waiting. Oh, oh, oh no. Well, I hope they're not about numbers and eight. Not a bad waiting. That's not what I'm here for. Not a bad waiting, but like I see, it's not what we're here for. But it's literally after about, f literally after about four or five minutes, so I'll get that back. <laughs> I got another bait sorted out. The sea doesn't seem that vicious at the minute, so I can I may be able to take the take the camera a bit nearer the water's edge. I'm waiting for some razor fish to defrost. Courtesy of uh I'll eat rigs and baits. But they're solid. <laughs> This is a beach I tend, tend to find good numbers of cod here, but I've never, I've never really managed to hit it the big fish here. Although I was fishing here one night when a lad come and stood next to us and pulled in an eight pounder. So uh, the can, the can be found. I'm just, I don't have much luck at it. But if we're going to find anything like that tonight, we're going to try and get past there and waiting. 
that's the first whiting I've heard in a long time. Normally because my beards are massive. And I think it puts them off. You all know how to bait up. I'm literally just... All I want to do here... Now hook this razor on. Me five or Sakuma. Whip it on. I've actually left that worm on off the last cast because it wasn't in very long. I'm just going to whip that razor on full... Well, what's that, a six inch razor fish? Not that it's a fish, but it's a clam. And the last one I had nine worms on it. So, and all I do here, I don't bother threading them up the hook. Head hook them. I head hook my lugworm onto the bottom hook. And I pull them up over the rears are form a sausage <laughs> whip it on Bob's your uncle Fanny's your aunt Penelene so on this next cast I'm going to actually just walk 10 yards or so up tight and cast out so it settles a little bit more in front of us. Right guys, that's my second cast in the water there. Lugworm and razor. I did move slightly 10 yards up the beach before I cast that time. Getting a bit of slack line, but it's not a fish. Just I'm normally a lot closer to the water's edge. But with the camera equipment and everything, I'm, I'm further back than I would ordinarily be. This can be a fantastic mark and it gets very busy. Like I see, I think I was, there would have been quite a few here last night with the competition and whatnot on. I'm not sure if you can see me rod tip or not, I think you can, but... It, <laughs> filming's tricky in the dark. Ideally, daytime makes the best content for, for recording, but fishing's a lot easier at night. Um, for those who don't know this area very well, You've got to keep moving your stuff every 10 or 15 minutes here to be honest the tide's flying out now and i set up back there i've already moved probably 40 50 yards from where i started when i got here and i'll have to move quite a few more times as well before the end of the night up and down so this area is protected by a reef mark there's a rock mark up there known as hadston cars and there's a reef further out protects this in good heavy seas Fish is on, I've had fish on a southerly, but it's fish is probably better on a northerly. We've got a bit of a northeasterly running now, or probably more northerly than northeasterly now at the moment. There was fish here last night, Stu and me mate Roy. They had Roy had one for four pound two, I believe, and Stu had a one for three fifteen from slightly further up the mark called Sid's hole. Not to do with me, unfortunately, but um So I think this is my third cast third cast I think keep getting a bit of slack line here so I could have a bit of weed on it not a lot of slack line I'm just struggling to tighten my line up to this <coughs> I've set another trace up there now ready to go just needs baiting up which uh, again is a pattern I've you've seen it before same rig if I was competition fishing I'd probably fish a two-hook flapper now. I think on a beach a two-hook flapper, especially here, just gives you a nice wide scent trail. I tend to do better with a two-hook flapper than I do with a, just a single pattern oster, but I'm trying not to go a daft and use all my worms because I want them for the open on Sunday. I'm quite surprised I haven't had a cod bite yet, like. Fourth cast. No cod as yet, although that last, that last bite was definitely a little bit more like a small coddling. Of course, the weird thing about the beaches is... Oh, that's a better bait. See that one? I would be caught that one. Just make sure it wasn't that wave because it did coincide with quite a crashy wave there. 
Right, so on this one I have a lugworm, a little bit of cart wing and a full razor fish. I think that's a whiting and it's quite a decent sized bait. I think the cod would have picked that up. I've just held the rod for about two minutes, never felt the thing, put it back and it's gone again. I'll cut most of this stand and out of the shot. I think that could be a white, pretty. It might be on, but I don't think it is. I'm going to change the hook length on this other one. My lad decides what it wants to do. Maybe they're all waiting. That's why I'm. I'm not hooking them. Well, I really felt confident of a coddling or two. Right, this one's been in eight minutes. I'll turn the camera off and get back to you. Whoop. Again, that's that same waves crashing on that sandbank. Oh, that wasn't. Surely not. Right. Um. Surely that was not weed on the line. I haven't had any weed really, apart from that first cast. I got a little bit of grassy stuff around the leader knot. Nothing, not a thing. Right. Let's put that back in and beat another one up. Frustrating. So it's exactly two hours before lower water now. Can he knock on this before, but nothing's happened, it hasn't come back. We need 20 odd minutes. I've got one bearded up ready to go, I'm just gonna literally pull this in now and change it. So I don't think there's anything lying on, I would have seen some kind of uh, sign. It's that snag I had before, isn't it? see a snag there in front of us. Yeah, so far it's been disappointing. I really thought the conditions we would have had a cut or two by now. And they're making us work for them. It may just be that I've been here quite early and now we're sort of getting into the right time to get a fish or two. Ooh, I bent that hook out on that snag. Straighten that up. Now, was that a bait? <laughs> I'm quite a way back off. Oh, no, that's a bait. I can feel it. I felt that on the road as I just went to tighten the line up. I'm sure these are waiting. So on this one I have razor, lug and squid. Ooh, 
it's giving a little bit of head shake. It's not a, not a big fish, but it's, I can feel it. Just take your time, you never know, really. Oh, I've just caught a snag. Sorry about that guys, I got snagged and I had to go and do the water's edge. Nice one, lovely fresh run, about two and a half, no, it's there. two and a quarter maybe. That's very deep hooked, so I might have to take that for the table. Anyway, at least we're getting one. Tell a lie guys, I got that out knee bother. And it's nice, it's still alive. We're gonna get that back. Hopefully we get another one. Well we know there's one or two about, but there's definitely some snags in front of us. I'm gonna have to be wary. I got that snag there and I couldn't do anything with it and all of a sudden it kicked. And released itself from a snag. So I quickly beat one up and get one back in. Right, so one leg down, it's just gone off. I don't think it's flat, it's just gone off. So, razor fish, lugworm, cast number six. Now, I did get that a bit of welly. Now that my sort of two hours before low water, probably a little bit after that now, I might be in the it might have just been my too far up the beach. I've literally moved down a hundred yards from where I started fishing. Oh yeah. Oh I've just took a wave to the crotch. Oh I knocked it. That knocked the wind out of us. So I'm wading probably, what, 20 yards into the sea. And then just give another, a stiff overhead lob. I don't think you need to. I just don't think you need to cast miles here. I think the further you cast, you get into trouble with snags. Well, let's hope that's a sign of things to come. Anyway, that's a whitening and a cod, so we're not doing too bad. So it's another bait with a lot of slack lane. That may be a white. But a large bait. Some of the air leak, but it's. Oh, I don't know what that is. It could be a white or it could be a small coddling. But I've got a large bait on here, I've got a whole razor, whole squid, and about nine lugworm. I didn't film casting out because obviously I've. 
There's only so many times you're going to watch us wandering off into the darkness. Something having a nibble, but it's not really a bite I feel I can lift into. I'll just leave it out there. You know what I mean? If something having to go there, I think that's a white and it's just not nowhere near a good enough cod bite. Apologies people, I didn't... Uh, I got a bite ages ago and I stood holding my rod for probably 10 minutes. Never felt a thing. Went to lift the inner bait, and this little fella was sitting on. Unfortunately, that was really deep hooked. That one, I've had to, I've had to take it for the, for the pan. What's that? Two, maybe two and a quarter. Very deep hooked. There's no way I'd get that and get it back. Would you think it's a favour, please, mate? Aye. Will you take a foot of us with this? Will you pig light? Ooh, we aye. Need bother. Is that a, how many you had? Just that one, or? Ah, oh, it's been a bit quiet. Stephen Brown's just come up with his sure as his cork. Unfortunately, we haven't got any skills to wait, but uh, it's got to be good. It's our six, I would think. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. Lovely fish shots. I've took a couple of photos for him, and uh, lovely. So he's had four, I've only had the two, so uh, I've got a bit catching up to do. Right, well done, mate. Yes, well done. Aye. Yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you, mate. Oh, lovely. Pleasure to meet Thank you. you. Well done. I hope you get some more. So the, the confidence has suddenly gone up a notch up two. That's better. That's a lovely fish that lad's got. He went, he's got another one about three and he's had two others. So he's all the moon with that now would be as well. Well guys, I've literally just had the rod ripped out my hand. Fought like a demon all the way and I knew it was a good fish because it was swimming parallel up the beach. Cork, all right, I'm going to get it back. So I took my... Right, unfortunately guys, I tried my best to get that to go back. It just wouldn't go back. Despite it was only lip hooked, it just wouldn't go back. So I've just run along there to the lad, and uh, he had some skills actually, so with weird mine, not as big as I thought actually, it's, I think I think it was 6'5 mine. And then we weird his, and his was seven and a quarter. So that's not too bad. Six five and a seven and a quarter within 50 yards of each other. Uh, so, in all the excitement, in all the excitement, I'm knackered running up and doing the beach. But there you are, just can't to show. I was, I thought it was really slow going, it was tough. Got a couple of small ones out in the waiting. Thought it, you know, I wasn't giving up hope because I, I know this place fishes really well in the flood. But um, after seeing that lad catch that fish, I thought all of a sudden my confidence was, oh, well, at least they're there. So, uh, ah, he's buzzing, absolutely buzzing. And I've got it on video so he can prove to his mates that he has caught it. I've got no idea what uh, what cast this is. Two for the table. I love putting them back, but unfortunately, sometimes they just don't go back. Just had another cork and bait, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I think I've missed it. Oh, how did you miss that? That was an unreal bait. Well, there's a lesson for you. Don't move it.
No, actually, there may be a little one on here. Oh, you bugger. Coolie. Yeah, you wouldn't believe the bait that little tiny coolie gave. Shit. You wouldn't believe the bait that little coolie gave. I'm soaking trying to get that other fish revived. Right, I'll get this back. I'm gonna have one more cast after this, I've got about three rears are left. Still, still a decent bit of lug, so I'm gonna pile a big bait on, chuck it out, try and keep these coolies off. This is gonna get the full 20 minutes. Tide's literally flying in now. Ooh, I forgot that was a better bait. Last cast. <laughs> I missed it again. Right guys, that's it for me. I'm the last one on this beach. Everyone's gone. It's pitch black. I can't see a thing. So uh, until next time, thanks for watching. And like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheerio.